Okay, so I'm going to talk about um, a recent phenomena that uh, is occurring. Um, now, the context of this is uh, uh, I don't usually do videos on current market events, but uh, I'm in the middle of teaching a course in corporate finance at Queen's uh, University, and we're doing a stock market game. And uh, there's been um, a, a, a new phenomena about short squeezing against hedge funds. Uh, so I'm going to put together a basic video, very high level, about uh, what's caused this in the background and what some of the implications are of, of this. Now, uh, essentially what's happened is a company called GameStop and a couple others um, has uh, had their price uh, increased dramatically. Okay? So it's uh, it's gone up um, from trading about a, a little over a month ago, it was around $15 a share. And it's hit a high of uh, about 480, all within uh, a little over a month. Okay, so dramatic increase without any actual news on the company uh, justifying a change like that. So what what was behind this is uh, uh, something called a short squeeze. So before we get into exa exactly what happened there uh, or what that is, is you have to understand what short selling is. If you look at a regular transaction, I'm just going to say this is a regular long position and that's what everyone is used to okay, so you will step one you buy a stock okay step two you sell the stock in the future okay and the goal is you make money because the price goes up okay so you're going to get a profit and it just depends how long you have to hold, whether it was a worthwhile decision or not. Now, a short position is exactly the opposite. So what you're hoping for in a long position is obviously you hope that the price increases. In a short position, you hope for the opposite. Okay, so you are now thinking that uh, this company's price is going to fall. Uh, but how do you make money on that? You, you don't want to go buy it uh, because uh, you would rather sell it uh, today and buy it at a lower price when it does. So that's exactly what happens. So you reverse the order. Step one is you sell the stock. And step two is you will buy back at a later date when hopefully the price has fallen. So in this case, you're hoping for the price to fall, and then you get your profit. Okay, now, there's a, a lot of mechanics to this as well. I won't go into details, but um, uh, what's the risk associated with this? Okay, um, first of all, the risk is that uh, it goes in the opposite direction. Okay, and um, as a result of that, uh, you may end up buying the stock back at a higher price. And it's potentially unlimited. So, for example, if I sold a stock at $10 and I think it's going to go down and the stock goes up to $1 million, I have to actually go buy the stock for a $1 million. So I lost $1 million minus a $10 sale price. So unlike a, a traditional buy where the most you can lose is whatever you put in. So because of this, the company that or the brokerage firm where you're going to buy it is going to require a margin. And I'll just call this collateral. So in order to do this, uh, you're going to need to put some collateral down in case the stock price goes up. They don't want to be caught bailing you out. Okay, so let's suppose I buy um, 100 shares at $10. Okay, actually, not buy them. I'm short selling. So I will sell 100 shares at $10, and I'm going to buy them back later. Um, now, if the price goes up, I'm in trouble. Okay, so... Uh, this transaction has a thousand dollar value. So what they're going to require is that I put in some money to make sure that I can repurchase it. Okay, and I'll just make some numbers here. I'll say the collateral is fifteen hundred dollars. Okay, so essentially it's the the value plus fifty percent. Okay, I've decided that. Because if the stock price actually goes up to $15 um, 
and I can't purchase it because I don't have enough money, then the brokerage firm has to do it. So that's why they make me put some extra collateral down just to, to make sure that uh, they don't get stuck, uh, stuck doing so. Okay, so that is uh, the whole concept of a short position. So now let's look at the bad scenario. Let's suppose the price increases to $15 per share. Okay, so now I'm in trouble. I thought it would go down. It's actually gone up by 50%. Uh, now what the firm is going to say is add collateral. Things are not going the way you thought. I don't want to get stuck bailing you out. So I'm going to use the same ratio. So these shares are now trading at $1,500. So 100 shares that I bought is now trading at $15. And here, they basically worked out the formula that we're going to add 50% to this. So plus 50% um, is going to be 22.50. Okay, so they now want 22.50 as collateral. I've only put in 1,500. So what they are saying is add 750. So they'll come to you and say, put $750 more into your bank account. Um, if you can't, if you don't want to do it or you don't have the money, then we will force you to close your position and they will force you to buy. Okay, so they'll force you to do step two. Even though you didn't really want to do it, your position is now closed. You have to do it at market price. It's at 15. So as a result, you lost $5 per share on 100 shares. Okay, so you had a loss of $500. So that is a short squeeze uh, where you're forced to close your short position in um, a rush.